Yo, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. It's your boy, Max. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the BTE Podcast once again, man. It's the guy Checkmate back live in effect. Man. <coughs> oh, my fault. Oh. Damn, the guy, you feel me? I spoke so much wisdom before the pod, he's choking on words. You feel me? That's crazy. But wait, wake, <coughs> wake up, young brother. Man. Wake up. Man, y'all ain't never had drunk, drunk some water game. Everybody had drunk some water one time. That hoe went into the wrong pipe. I don't even know what that means, man. Keep it a bean with you, bro. Keep it in a bean with you. I don't know what that means, bro. Because I don't. Like, two pipe. Like, like, when I was a kid, when I think about it, I'm like, all right, cool. I think of a V, right? And I think of like two veins, and I, and then I, it looks like like a stop sign type stuff. Like like it says, are you food or, or liquid? All right, down this hole. And then I feel like somehow, some way, some dude just get mad and he just go the other way and boom, mess up everybody, mess up the whole airway. What's crazy is it don't harm nothing though. Like for it to for it to make you cough as much as it do, it don't harm nothing, which is crazy. Well, at least I don't know that it has any any, any effects to that motherfucker. But yeah, so so Yo, so, so what are we what are we talking about out. today, man? We, we the doctors. That's who we are. <laughs> I don't know about I don't hey. know about none of that. Hey, PhD coming soon. You heard? What we on today though? Tell the people, man. Well, man, man, bro. Let me tell you what we on, man. We, we on some other stuff, gang. We on a breakthrough. Man, and, and, and what we mean by breakthrough is when you, by the time y'all hear this, you feel me, you will understand the context around it of identifying the problem at first, and then now it's about how the actions behind it, the plan behind it, the execution behind the game. So off the muscle, it's a story, and it's and it's crazy on, on how it went because it it's not. I, I want to say it was not a typical. It, it wasn't a typical um, experience. I, I'll say that. So at first, so one of my biggest problems, right? I always say again, was the way I viewed women was one of the top problems I ever had because of a plethora amount of reasons, bro. Um, we could start off with the insecurity in myself. That was a big part of it. Man, it's a lot. Dang, now I'm about to go down this list. There's a lot of things I don't, I don't, I don't really broke through about. Shoot, how much time we got? <laughs> how much time we got? Cause we finna go stupid. Nah, all right. Well, I guess I should start with that. Okay, boom. I, I got, I gotta start back from real beginning. Insecurity, bro. So how did I identify that I had insecure insecurity? Well. The very first thing I saw myself do was comparing myself to every single person when I was younger. So I'll go all the way back to 07, right? I'm in elementary. Wait, am I, am I in elementary school back in 07? I hope so. By the way, I was in elementary school, gang. You know, love it, elementary, gang. And it was a private school, and it was majority white people. It was a majority white school. So me... I was getting picked on at that school for being really black. You know, I had I heard every dark joke in the world, right? Every single joke you can imagine, you will say it to me. So, and then I was a kind of bigger dude, you know, before before I turned to Islam, you know, I was eating the pants. I was just, you know what I'm saying? You know the ones you get at the grocery store, and then you put them on a pan, you flip them a little bit, and you thought you was really cooking something? Yeah. yeah. I, had, I had them junks, gang, you feel me? I had them junks on so I used to, you know, so I used to bust them down regularly. So it, it put a couple pounds on me, gang, when I was a kid, man. So uh, not only was I was was I dark as the midnight sky, I was I was big as a doorway, and I didn't look that good in the face either. You know what I'm saying? It had a gap. You feel me? That was before I got the braces on. Yeah, it was it was rough. <laughs> It was rough, gang. It was rough. So I was hella insecure, hella insecure. I could that was just a couple off top of the off the dome for real. And because of because I was so insecure, I didn't know who I was. So I was gravitating towards anything that was a trend or that was cool, that was that that drew attention, really. 
like I was really that person. Anything that drew attention, I got it. Like, like I think Sagan was was just trying to become up and coming. I think I was more like trying to get on uh, going into middle school. But yeah, like I used to, I used to try to sag, bro. I tried, to, I tried to gang bang, bro. You would have swore I was a blood in the elementary. Then never seen a blood, never seen a rag, bro. <laughs> At this point, I probably never seen a gun again. <laughs> and I. <laughs> And I'm over here claiming a whole set. Like, what, bro? Listen, Anything. listen, listen, man. It's a flag, not a rat. But continue. I respect it. But um, this whole thing here, bro, I'm, like, I'm just trying to fit in. I'm trying to do anything to stand out for real, though, at the same time. Like, like I want to fit in but stand out. You, you feel me? Like, I want to get into the cool group. But then I want to be the star of the cool group. That's that. That's the way. I, that's the way my brain thought. So I was going with anything, anything a celebrity did. I was. I was on it. If I saw a kid in my class who was popular, he he had the he had the female. Oh, I wanted to be just like him. I wanted to walk like him, talk like him, dress like him. You know, be fresh like him and all that. Uh, shout out to Maxo for that one. Um, and it was just it was overwhelming because I never could be my like I never could stay settled like everything was changing especially when you're trying to ride a trend no trend gonna last forever game nothing gonna be hot for, for a thousand years you know somebody gonna say man that's lame so i'm always hopping 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 hop. man it was crazy it was just tiring so that's really where i initially identified it right that's how i identified the problem but then the actions i took towards it was the first thing i did bro real shit the first thing I did was I had to really tell myself that it's okay, but you need help. I had to tell myself it's okay, but you need help because I I didn't like being being called fat. But the reason why I'm fat is because I eat. So how do you not be fat? You feel me? It's just, it's pretty it's self-explanatory. So kind of being real with myself, but then also during that time I got introduced to football. And that helped me out a lot because, like, big people was kind of um, praised. You know what I'm saying? If you was a big guy, O line, you was an O line, D lineman. Okay, bro, they they messing with you. Cool, you you big, but yeah, you you dominate on the field. So I told myself it was okay because of football. So that was the first thing. It was kind of like a, you know, you're big for a reason now. At first, you was big for no reason. You know how you remember that? Uh, that meme, like when we was younger gang, it was like, um, it was this Asian kid and he was like 7 11, but he wanted to be like an author or something. No, I don't remember that, but um, I'm listening to the story though. <laughs> well, boom, bro. So, um, you know, but it was like he was 7 11 in a bookstore and I was like, oh, he big for nothing. You know, so that's kind of how I felt. You know, just take off like 50 feet, you feel me? But. <laughs> um, I said that's how that's how it really was. So I had to build that up and say, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I started to get really good praise in football, so that kind of built my self esteem up as well. But it still wasn't enough. I initially, I had to say, okay, well, I want to be different, right? But in my own sense, like I want to do something that nobody else is doing. And <clears throat> ironically, still to this time, nobody really doing it. But the biggest thing was respecting girls, right? And learn how everything comes full circle about the, the thing with girls. So I would think of two birds, one stone. Like I'm help, I'm building myself on looking at women in a better image, and I'm also doing something that's totally different. Cause during that time, man, everybody was bitches and hoes. Every every girl was a bitch and a hoe, gang. It, it was crazy. So it was like if I was to approach it a whole 360 view and be the utmost respectful and i think i think now they call it a simp but being that guy you feel me is going to draw something totally different because you ain't never seen this before and you ain't never experienced it before and ironically i was just where i was watching um uh, uh iman i was watching iman talk and he was saying and he was talking about um people fake um fake trying to be patient but if they if they fake it eventually it's gonna to turn to genuine because like if you because you're trying to pretend it, it he you're trying to pretend to like build that up like even when you get mad the example was like you know somebody bump into you and you you yell, yell yell at them 
but this time you don't yell. Even though internally you're yelling like, man, I'm pissed off at you just bumped into me. But externally, you're it's okay and you walk away. So eventually if you keep doing that, you'll eventually you'll become genuinely patient and you won't be mad at all. So fake it, fake so it. So kinda fake it till you make it. Hey, hey, that that saying means something. So dang, I don't I don't I don't went off so off track. I forgot where I was going with that. Was talking about females and your evolution from females and well really you was talking about football to me and how that changed how you was uh looking at yourself. Boom. I, I'm glad you said that. Boom. So I'm going backwards. And so when I wanted to be fake like that and I tried to do like all the other stuff, I was like, man, I'm going to be respectful. I'm going to really treat women with utmost respect. So I'll, I was really faking it to make it. <laughs> but eventually it really became genuine where I started to really care about women. I started to care about their feelings a whole lot more. I started to care just uplifting them. It, it really did hurt me um, when I was a kid. Um, and still do to this day. Uh, I, I, it hurts to see a woman not respect themselves. It, it's just like, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, got, I want you to, to love yourself as much as I love you. You feel me? Because it's like, I, I don't know what's, what's going through, but I, I hope I hope they do get the help and, and they do get out of that slump. You feel me? Uh, and, and, and they uplift themselves. So I thought about it and I was like, why can't, why, why can't I, why shouldn't I be that person? Uh, Captain Save a Ho, man, there's so many terms that, that I used to be called, bro. Like, but it was all that, all that, bro, all that to be said, gang. It took me, I, I'm 21 right now. I would say four to six. Close that. Yeah. I say four to six years now. I've probably been in this. It, going towards this this state that I'm at right now, it, it started four to six years ago, and I'm just now really seeing like big, humongous progress from like now. I love myself. I, I went from being you know a person that didn't love themselves to a person that that was so insecure to being called conceited, like crazy, crazy, bro. I would never in my life think I ever somebody would ever call me conceited, but um, just just that part. Knowing my knowing my worth, respecting myself, and every day it, I'm starting to respect myself so much more. My time, my energy, my space. That if I feel like you're wasting it, then I I will respectfully leave. You know, regardless of what harm you didn't mean no harm by it, but I felt I felt the shift, and, and I didn't want to you know ruin anybody else's day, so I removed myself from the equation automatically. But yeah. Shout out, shout out, man. I, I do I really wanted that to be shown though, bro. Like that this shit takes time, bro. Like this shit not no overnight. You can't like you you a bad mo mo foca, bad mo mo fo if you um if you can just flip a switch and, and be change your whole you feel me, whole demeanor overnight. But it takes time, bro. And it was it was days that and weeks and months part that I didn't see no real growth, you know, until I got put in the situation and, and I seen it, you know. And I feel I feel like that's what a law does, right? When when we're practicing something, when we're trying to do something, he'll throw in a test to, to see to see how far we came. You know, if we made the same mistake or if we okay, boom. Or if we make a whole totally different mistake. We may not have learned the lesson, we just made a different mistake. But that's okay. It's okay. Cause you learn it, you feel me? I feel like every L is a lesson. You feel me? You just gotta learn from it and do something else. I guess I I just say don't make the same mistake. Tw- don't make the same mis- mistake twice. I always make a different mistake if you can, and then ultimately, don't make a mistake or make the correct decision. Right, right, right. Bro, I was out here, man, bro. That feels good. Everybody get go ahead and get a chance to vent, bro. Vent for real. Like that just made me feel so good. And just to see my growth from like cause a lot of that stuff I was really thinking about. And I'm like, y'all really have grown. Like I've grown as a person. You know, and that's another thing y'all need to do, bro. Another thing people need to do is reflect. I don't reflect, right? And I'm telling you do something that and I'm I gotta practice it myself. But always give yourself, you know what I'm saying, your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Salute yourself for how far you came. 
Um, especially if you don't think you came far. Like I, I didn't. You feel me? I, I, even just now, I'm looking back at it. I'm like, y'all have made strides in, in the right direction. So just just always give yourself a pat on the back and be like, hey, man, you know, you're doing good. You feel me? If you don't say it, I'll say it, man. Cause, cause y'all have y'all are growing every day. You're growing every day, every every single interaction you have, and you're learning, you're computing it, and you're, and you're calculating your next move. So, salute to y'all. Continue to grow. Continue to reflect. Continue to be blessed, man. Let's get it. This is this is this is what it is. This is what it is to be happy. Just be up, man. I feel good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the, the conversation in a different way because I feel like this this is. The, the best way for me to to talk about it without talking about the old me because old me I can't really do nothing about old me old me is who he is for me I've came to the terms and accepted who who I was and who possibly I still am depending on how I look at it but I mean a breakthrough breakthrough now for me is bigger than bigger than any breakthrough I've ever had in my life because I feel like now I'm at the age to where it's necessary to be on a on a on a path, another direction, and and maximizing that path. And every day I see different things that that stir, that steers me one way, but it's a bunch of one ways. It's not just one one particular way. It's it's a lot of one ways that. You only could go one way. You feel me? There's no, there's no left, right. It's just straight ahead in whichever, whichever direction you're going. So I just want to kind of, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm more talking to whoever's listening to this. It's like the break, a breakthrough for, for me now is more mental. I feel like for most people it's more mental than anything because it's, We, we have so much distraction now to where physically we can be doing something, but our mind is in a whole different part of the, 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 the world in a whole different dimension. So it's it's more of allowing the mind to connect with the body, regardless of, of, of any circumstance, situation or 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 uh, or place. So, I mean, with that being said, I'm just me personally, I'm going through um like I said, just trying to figure out my lane, my path, and, and go at it and maximize everything I could do in that path. And uh, and I kind of, kind of lost my train of thought. But oh, boom! That's that's where I was going. Okay, so in my mind, I have an idea of my end goal, but at the same time, I have so many ways I feel like I can get to that end goal. That it throws it throws me for a loop because I at first I had the problem of focusing on a bunch of things at one time. That was that was my problem. I came to terms with it. I chopped it down, and now I'm able to focus on one thing. But then I realized that I can't get like how we were talking about the other day. I, I realized I can't get to this this thing because of this. And so now I got to tackle this. But once I get to that, I realize I can't tackle that because of, of this. So I guess I gotta re I have to reroute everything and reprogram myself to get get go back to square one. Because I feel like I mo- most of us take when we skip steps. When we're at square one, and then all of a sudden we're at square four, but we're not supposed to be at square four at that, at that time. And so now I just gotta I gotta reroute because now I'm at the place where I can focus, like I said, I can focus on one thing, but now it's like I need to get to it. Instant. I need instant uh, uh, validation that I'm doing this right. Instead of going through the, 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 the motions, understanding that it's not it's not overnight like you were saying. If you, if you can do this and that overnight, you feel me? You you, you call like that's that's not hu- salute. Salute. You feel me? That's salute, not gang. that's not really human. So I mean, with that being said, now I have to I just have to realize like okay, boom, there's going to be a process. But the process is however long you and Allah wants it to be. Because Allah can have me going through a situation for the short term, but I make it a long term thing because of my mindset. Or Allah can have me going through something long term and 
you know, I'm, I'm trying to get through it short term and now I'm frustrated with that. So I just got to understand what Allah wants me, wants for me, and what I want for myself and just let it, let it happen naturally. Because we, we see, we see so much and we intake so much on every day that we can't really stay focused on one thing for the long term. It's so many, it's, so, it's just so many deterrents. You got to take so many detours because of, 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 of the, the intake of, the intake of data and, and everything else that we, we see on a day to day. So yeah, I just, I don't know. My breakthroughs kind of, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't broke through yet of what I want to break through because everything I've broken through, I'm cool with it. Like I don't, there's nothing for me to speak about it because I can acknowledge it and I understand. But now it's just like, okay, where, where am I going? I'm back at, I'm back at one now. And I'm trying to get to 100. So it's how fast can I get to 100? And if it's not that quick, how can I enjoy getting from one to 100? Because if I'm enjoying it, it's going to pass by as quick or as slow as it needs to. So I don't, I don't. I don't I was just gonna say I don't know about I don't know what the the, the totality of the breakthrough is gonna be when it eventually comes, but I'm 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 gradually working to understanding that I have to. It's a reset that I, ha- I have to do. Like there's no other way around it but resetting. Without the reset, I'm just gonna fail myself again. Nah, look, look. One of the main things I wanted to say because you were talking about like just how fast everything is. It was a quote. And they said, some people overestimate what they, overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. And I feel like just breaking that down into however small you want to make it, it makes so much more sense. Where it's like, a lot of us want to get a lot of stuff done. And, and, and whether it's G stuff, like us with what with the podcast, bro. We at first it was more like trying to just push stuff out. Then it was nah, bro. It's it's about really the, the good content about it. So we tried to overestimate. <laughs> wow, we tried to overestimate. You feel me? What what can we do or, or how fast and and all this other stuff went and, and we and we wanted this stuff to go like a snap of the finger. But we we didn't we underestimated how much we can really for how much we can really grow by just taking our time and as you say doing and in a lost time because at, it, at the end of the day he wrote it so it, it ain't nothing for us to even do we, we we can't do nothing you feel me so I say that and it's just like getting that done <clears throat> and and life itself bro a lot of people want to get uh, me you feel me. Just right now, I'm looking at it, and, and I wrote down all this stuff I'm going to do tomorrow. I mean, like, I got my little day planned out, what I want to hit, ooh, ooh, you feel me? And I had to be realistic, because I wanted to do a whole lot more stuff than I wrote down. But I said, bro, come on now, I'm over it. I'm about to OD it, you feel me? Because, as you know, bro, I'm, I'm going deeper into Islam and just practicing it. So I was like, okay, I want to get really into it, and I just want to... Da, 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 da. And I'm like, well, I have to really process it. It, it, don't, it doesn't matter how how much information I read, how fast, like, if I'm not comprehending it. If I'm just if I'm just reading it just to say I read. If I, if I read the Quran, just say I read the Quran five times, but I didn't understand nothing or, or gain nothing new from each time I read it, then what what, what was the what, what did I do? I, I just did something to say I did it, even though I didn't. And, and going, going to the second part was the journey. Man, whenever you do something, it's no longer a time frame. It's a journey about it. It's just whenever that's over, it's over. You feel me? You know it, and you keep it pushing. That was one thing I really had to do, bro. With a lot of my, a lot of my stuff, my uh, no social media clan. That was just a journey. I had no end goal. I did not say I wanted to be on social media for five months. I didn't say I wanted to be out for a week. I literally just went until I said, "All right, cool. I'll come back. You know I mean, I'll get back on social media." Um, everything else as well it's, it's literally a journey and and when you just and when you're devoted and you're into the journey the present moment of, of every time you're going you're gonna understand like it's gonna be like yo two years done passed you're like man bro that's really what 
That's really what happened. Because I think about it so much. And I'm like, bro, I remember my first time going to Missouri. And now I'm, I'm a junior, about to be a senior in college, bro. Like, I remember freshman year in Missouri, bro, moving into them dorms and the boys, and the boys waved at me the first time. I remember, I remember making them flat tires game and put me in, had, to, had to bump it up, you feel me? And try to do a quick fix and, and thought I was a mechanic and, and bust it again. I remember it. <laughs> I remember. You feel me? So it's like, to see that growth and just to see how far I came from them, it's like, yo, bro, time really be, like, time really be moving. Like, moving, gang. When you're really, but when you're really into the journey, though, that's what it is. When you're really living life. Man, when we're doing that, the days go by so quick, bro. My days go by fast. Because I do everything, all, every, all day, every day, I do what I love. If I don't want to do something, I don't do it. Simple. You know, <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? When you actually realize and understand what time truly is, it goes by fast regardless. Because you know you're never getting it back. Like, I, me personally, once I understood, like, bro, this is what time is. Bro. Time is, is life, you feel me? That's all, that's all that time is. In my eyes, it's just life. And this is like, bro, I can't honestly do nothing to speed it up or slow it down. But it's just like, damn, I'm living life. I'm, I'm experiencing life. And it's just, it goes, you feel me? I, I had to take a, I honestly had to take a step back. Like, bro, what, what am I, what am I witnessing and what am I going through? Cause mentally it was like I'm here, but it's like I'm looking for for something else. That's not a a, a, a lively thing. I'm, I'm I'm assuming because it's like I it got to a point, and I think it still may be, but nothing in life surprises me or excites me. It's just like it's because I expected like anything that that happens or is going to happen, it was supposed to happen. So it's like I'm I'm cool with it. And even when I'm not cool with it, I, I dissect the situation to the point where it's like I'm over dissecting it. And so it's like, damn, I understand. But at the same time, it's like I want to understand the deeper, the deeper meaning of stuff. When they don't even be, it, it's not necessary sometimes, but it also gives me a better insight of the mind. Because it's like, how can the mind go to these, these depths? Like, what am I trying to, what am I trying to? What am I trying to uh just what 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 part of the puzzle am I trying to am I trying to decode? Because it's like what 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 are like how a dead like honest question is how does certain species live longer than other ones? Just stuff like that. I'll be trying to break it down, like okay, so why when is our time gonna be at? That's how I'll be like when at at what what state of existence is human human beings gonna be at? When it's our time to go, as as a as a, a entirety, and it's just like that's kind of it's weird to think about. Even when I told you the other day, like about the the the, the man feminine woman independent type thing, it's like little stuff yeah. like that. It's like I be analyzing it for the for the simple fact that it's it's a part of life that we we, we see we experience, but we don't. We don't really analyze the situation. Like a lot of life, we just go through life instead of analyzing this shit. And I and I analyze a little bit too much. And even though it might be a bad thing, I still feel like I gain a lot from it because I get a, I get an understanding in which I wouldn't get if I didn't care. I just kept I just kept it moving. But but I mean, scratch scratch all that because that's not even really a topic for right now. But the What's the, for me personally, I think the, uh, the biggest breakthrough I can have is just understanding a person before I actually know them. What I mean I, by that? I, I, yeah, I about to say, go ahead, dissect that. It sounded deep, bro. Like, I, I was over here really dissecting what you were, what you were saying, but I was like, yo... What I mean, what I mean by that is under like how how kind of like how psychology is, but in a sense in a sense of of just 
like being naturally naturally having that that knowledge without having to put a lot of effort into understanding something like just simple if a person does these two things or these three things i understand how this person is now and i know how to maneuver with said person or i know how to how to how to uh just how to how to be with that person if a person's like boom if a person's shy but they dress they dress real flashy just like off some simple just like that those two things like okay boom so this is how this person is i know how to approach it just little little stuff like that i don't because I know every everybody's different. There's no two people that are, that are the same. So every approach to, well, you can use the same approach to a vast group of people, but for the most part, you got to use different different approaches for different people. So I just want to be able to be able to learn that. Like just to, like, as soon as I see somebody, like boom, okay, this is how you, this is how you go about X, Y, and Z with that person, without. Without having to actually conversate. Ah, 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 ah. You see, I, I understand you. So I, I do that. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess people do it. People do it themselves. They call it. They call it people watching. But, but they're just watching people, and, and then like, and then you know, commentating. Which is, I do, I do the same thing, bro. I do the same thing with my dog. I do the same thing with my nephew, bro. Like, like I don't take what's going through his head, but I don't really think what's going through his head. But I was him. You feel me? But um, when you really just sit back and watch people, and you you start to like in psychology, you feel me? Uh, become a psychology personality. It's like I look at people, and, I, and because of these different theories, I'm understanding. I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to piece, you know, what theory I kind of like a little bit more, and which one I really want to put my belief in, you know, and my and my whole thing in. But watching them, I'm like, yo. A couple people resemble, like, which obviously it would, but a couple people resemble these theories, gang, and I'm like, yo, I be thinking, I, I be feeling like um, Spencer Reed from uh, Criminal Minds, that's exactly who, that's exactly who I feel like, bro, Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. For the people, like, for, the, for the people that don't know who that is, explain who that is. Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds, bro. Damn, I, I, I thought I thought I explained that, John. But he's a um, he's a psychoanalysis person um, in the in the FBI, and he's he breaks down the the motives and the um, profile for the, for different cases of different killers, so you can understand them. And he's smart. He's smart as heck, bro. Like like he's he's Google. Like at the best way, best. You ask him something, bro, he he answer it. The, the first thing that come to mind is it was this new girl. She came into the show. Um, she was first, she was new to the team, whoop de whoop. And they they asked Spencer, they was like, hey, Reed. They said, uh, they said, hey, Reed, um, how many votes? Okay, there's something about votes on this case. He was like, oh, yeah, man, it's like 8,251 votes in, in Florida, I think he said, right? She and then everybody said, okay. And then the girl, New, the new girl, she was like, see, I just believe him. You feel me? Yeah, y'all ain't gonna fact check, bro. Like, y'all, like, how we know you right? So they looked it up, and bro was dead at. But before they even looked it up, bro was like, well, think about it. You know, look at all the waterfronts. Play. Like, he he broke it down to the T, gang. Eh? And then they looked it up, and he said, yeah, he's right. And then she got shut up. I said, yo, <laughs> yo. A lot do that to give me that much knowledge. <laughs> Man, bro, what? <laughs> You can't argue with me. <laughs> Don't play me, gang. I'm hitting you with some facts, gang. I'm gonna hit you with some stuff you ain't even think about. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna break that. What, bro? What? And I'm perfect, me, gang. I'm the perfect, me. the perfect book for us to read, for for like to understand the breakthrough we need as 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 black people. Because I mean, obviously, we all want to be united as as just humans, but. The way we live is, is broke down into certain certain categories. So as black people, from niggas to gods, part one and part two, are those are the perfect books to read for a breakthrough. Because then, it, like my first time reading it, I had to question everything about myself because it was it was telling me this was a guy that wrote the books in like nineteen. I want to say like the nineteen the eighties, the eighties or nineties. He wrote these books. 
and he's telling me about myself from back then. So it's like if he knew, if he knew I, or if Allah knew I needed that book, and if the author knew I needed that book, why, why am I in position to even, to even be offended? Because I, would, at first I was a little offended by what he was saying because he was talking to me as a black man, like, bro, the fuck are you doing? It's like, why am I even in position to be offended? Then I had to take from me back to going back to square one. I had to take a look at myself again. Like, damn, who, who, who are you, and what do you want to be? Like that was those are two. Those are two very important questions. That's and I feel like that's either that's the part of that. That's like the end part of identifying yourself or the beginning part of breaking through. Because you, you definitely have to answer those questions to, to, to know who you are. Because I don't, I don't feel like there's any other, there's no other answers or, or solutions you can get from any situation besides what do you want to do or what do you, who are you and what do you want to be? Because if I don't even know who I'm, who I want to be, then I don't, that's what we we're saying last, last page. You don't have no sense of direction at that point if you don't know who you want to be or who you are. So how can I ever have a breakthrough if I don't know who I am or where do I want to be? Bye. But yeah, Bye. In, anybody listening to listening to this, the book From Niggas to Gods, it's a good book. It, it, it'll make you mad, but then it'll make you understand like you're living a lie. And it's not, it's not a bad way, it's just you're living a lie as a as a human because you tricked yourself to believe that certain things were what they were and I'm just I'm only I'm only saying this to help somebody else catch the breakthrough that they're looking for because I only know what what I live through and I can only preach to what I know and so for that it's just that book that book's a good book to start to start with if you honestly want to understand you or to to just give yourself a, a, a kick in the butt to be able to to be able to understand you as a person. I mean, hey, 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 I, I haven't read that joint yet, bro. But I also, I, I be feeling like, like I have a real optimistic view on humanity, bro. Like I have a real, yeah. I, but I don't think, I don't want to say it's optimistic though. Like I don't, I don't, I, don't, I feel like it's, it's a lot easier than people believe it can. Like I do believe that like I was telling you yesterday, I believe that equality is something that most definitely is real and it can happen, bro. It's way easier than people believe it, it to be. Like it's it's not it's not hard. Like it's I it's really easy. I'm not gonna fake it, bro. It's not like it and maybe I'm saying it because I'm looking at it through just only my lens and then I'm looking I'm trying to look at everybody else, but and it just makes sense. It does it doesn't make sense to me on why you wouldn't do it. Like small, small gestures, right? Uh, when I tell you that there's legit, no, no, no gain. Uh, it, it's not, it doesn't hurt you to be kind, to smile, to smile. Ooh, smiling, bro. Like just the, like just the purest of just smiling. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to do nothing. If you just show your teeth, you know what I'm saying? And just smile, bro. Smile and just be genuinely just, hey, like that right there is, 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 Man, I'll change so many more lives, bro. Cause kid, man, let me, let me really talk to you, bro. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, a lot of beautiful smiles on this campus, bro. I have seen, I have seen some girls that have some wonderful smile that they don't want to show off. That they, they don't, you feel me? Even, even when we talk, you know, they don't want to show off their teeth. They really, I, I don't know what it is, but they like just show off your smile. Like a lot of the stuff that we're insecure about, we're looking at it and a lot of other people look at it through a whole different lens. That's why I be telling, I really be telling people, bro, I'm like, yo, bro, look, look at yourself through my eyes and you will see how I am. What that man Meek say, uh, take a look at yourself and then uh, see how you playing yourself, something like that. Yeah, bro, but that's really how I be feeling. Like, take a, like, look at yourself through my eyes and you will see how wonderful I, I, I view you how much I have faith that you can grow 
to exponential heights. So it's like, I believe we can. Uh, all it, legit, all it takes is, is, is just one person. One person from whatever group. Whoever's listening to this, bro. Just takes you. <laughs> it starts with you. you. You start waving, saying, smiling. You smiling, waving, high, joking, laughing, just giving good vibes. Man, it's going to be contagious because that energy is going to be around you, bro. And people going to want to come around you. I, I've seen it. A lot of people want to come in and grab my energy game because I'm just so... I'm, I'm up. You feel me? I'm, I'm up there. And, and and I'm happy all the time. And people just want to see that. And then some people want to see want to see me fail. I've had that before. But I never I never did hurt them. I never did harm no resentment towards them because I'm like, I understand. But they went about it the wrong way. They... they they, they want to grow. They just don't know how to grow. So why would I be mad at them? That, that That's their way of showing me that they want to grow. So, I mean, I will try my best to help you. It's, it's all it's all a viewpoint. It's, that's all it is, bro. It's all a viewpoint and how you, and how you see things and your perspective on, on uh, any situation. You know what I'm saying? Because when we stop taking things personal thing, everything else is, it clears up itself. The Four Agreements is, is a great book. Um, that I talk about that. Don't take these person. I use I use those teachings in the four agreements to this day. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it truly does make make a, a life a whole life just joyful. It makes your life joyful. I I could say I, I haven't been been this happy in a minute. And I and, and the crazy thing is I'd be happy. I, I reach a new happiness frequently now. Like I be thinking I can't get no happier. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking myself. I'm hyping myself up. I'm waiting for the next happiness to to shoot up. You know, it's it's just amazing, bro. Alhamdulillah, because that's all, that's all Allah that He's been blessing me. So I got, I gotta speak. I gotta speak it. I mean, give this energy to somebody. Well, yeah, I don't really, I don't really have too much more to say. That's, nah, that's that's it, my guy. I appreciate y'all rocking with us for real. Uh, continue, continue uh, again. Continue just to support us. Like, comment, subscribe, share it to everybody, and appreciate y'all again for real. Um, it means a lot for for y'all listening, and, and hopefully y'all take these lessons and just use us. You feel me? My my wealth is your personal. Uh, my my wealth is your personal health. So. That's hey, all I got to say. No, no. I, I don't know if I said this or not, but I was thinking about it earlier. It's crazy how Allah allows certain people to be in your life at certain times. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but that was on my mind earlier when I was talking. <clears throat> just kind of crazy. That, but yeah, that, uh, that. I mean, with that being said, you feel me? Just understand that some people are seasonal. Some people are uh, on for the long term. I'm checking out though, man. I'm out of here. Yeah.